Hey guys, Mike Donahue here for Fire Engineering. This will be the second part of the video uh, that accompanied the article. We're going to look at a horizontal uh, confined space rigging operation. Now what you see here is a lot of rope and a lot of hardware, but take into account this is kind of the final product of what you would have evolving over a confined space operation. It's really no different than the vertical we just did with the four belays, the main line, and the two mini four to ones to act as retrieval systems, if you will. All right? So I'm going to break down what I have for you right here, and hopefully when this is done, you'll say, you know what, that was pretty easy. So here it is. This yellow line here represents our main line. We have one rescuer going in right now. He's on the main line, and we have him on a belay. All right, we know we're going horizontal, but I can't see in there, so I don't know if there's any vertical drops. All right, we're going to play it safe. Two lines on the rescuer, that's the way we're going to do it. So now if you see, I have this mini four to one here that's attached with a little dip, so we're on a sender. As the rescuer goes forward, I can let it play out. Should we have to retrieve him, I can go ahead and haul this back in, thus bringing him back up. As we're doing that, we have him hooked to the MPD. So now as he's coming back up, we'll keep feeding the, uh, the blade in reverse now. So when this maxes out, or those two pulleys collapse, we can go ahead and lock his belay. We can stretch the system back out and continue to haul. Now, to the right of that, right, or your left, there's a white rope, which is the second rescuer belay. We put it out of the way for now because we do not need to use it. On that rope is a set of tandem frisics as the belay. So, should that lock up, we have the four to one here that we can bounce between the three ropes on this side, which would be the main and two belays. Now, on the opposite side here, we start with another mini four to one. That's going to work this side of the main belay, or the main line rather. So now we have the second rescuer's belay and the fourth rescuer's belay. Well, third and fourth. All right, first, second, third, and fourth. Tandem prusiks on this one, 540 on this one, just like we did in the first video. Now, we'll actually add, obviously. Hey guys, Mike Donnie for Fire Engineering. This will be the second part of the video series. Hey guys, Mike Donnie for Fire Engineering. Let's look at a horizontal confined space operation now. What you see here, yes, is a lot of rope and a lot of hardware, but keep in mind this has evolved over the operation. This is really not different than what we just did for the vertical. All right, let me show you why. So this yellow rope right here, we have one rescuer we're in that's acting as our main line. To its right or your left, we have an orange, that's the belay. We have that belay going through the MPD. To the right of that, or your left, we have a second belay. We have tandem prusiks on that belay, okay? Now, should we have to bring this rescuer in, or aid him coming out, we have this mini one, uh, mini four to one, that right now is attached to the main line with an ascender, right, or a rope grab, uh, gibbs. So now when we have to pull him out, we can assist him, we can go ahead and haul this in. Now at some point, these two pulleys are going to collapse on top of each other, and we can't haul anymore. Well, utilizing that MPD, as he's coming out, of course, we're going to be taking the slack up of the belay. Same with the, uh, the white line for the other rescuer. So now, once we collapse those pulleys, we'll simply lock the MPD, or lock the tandem prusiks. We can stretch this 4 to 1 back out, and continue to move them until we get to the egress point. Now, on this side, my left, your right, you'll see another mini 4 to 1. That's going to work this side of the main line. Once we bring a secondary main line in, all right, we're going to work this side and this side. It eliminates moving your mini 4 to 1 or your larger 4 to 1 across the whole rigging, uh, rigging plane here. So now here is our other two belays, tandem prusiks, 540 belay, similar to the first video. Again, one locks up. We can simply get a four to one, which is right there, hook it on, get a little hole, and unlock it. Same as the four to one's acting here, with that second rescuer, we can go ahead and take this mini four to one, piggyback it onto the main line, just like we did here, and aid him coming out. So, if you're really picking apart, main line, belay. All right, first guy. If we had a secondary or a second rescuer, we bring a second line in, we could choose belay from this side or belay from that side. 
then we have two belays for the backups. So, as you need it, you peel it in. All right, as you don't need it, you push it out. Keep this area clean, keep it organized, everything nice straight lines, and it'll be easy to figure out where everything is, if something goes wrong, or from an outsider coming in, how to operate and look at your whole rigging setup. So hopefully, now that I've explained this setup for a horizontal operation, it's a little more clear. So until next month, stay safe, stay progressive, and any questions, as always, email me at progressiverescue at gmail.com.